Oh. That horrified me to do it. <laughs> oh. How's that turn you crank, baby? Oh. <laughs> we have our I don't want, I don't know where the hell you're putting that. <laughs> oh. I'm suffering. <laughs> Why's that turn you, baby? Oh. Anyway. Oh. Lock up. Welcome to another episode of the 404's V-Lock. That's right, three whole episodes. <laughs> and just because we have three whole episodes... Stop clapping, I'm trying to talk. Just because we have three whole episodes, we decided to make this special. And what do we have three of? That's right. Humans! <laughs> Cylons! Daleks. Time Lords. Regenerations. Anyway! That's right, our special guest today ah. is Little Mike. Hi. So for a very rare vlog episode, you will have all three mics giving you our brand of insane comedy and possibly making obscene gestures behind the camera. So, as I understand it, a whole bunch of people are now currently doing Vita. And we, however, have decided... I brought my, I brought my 3DS. Well, I got mine too. I, I've been playing Kid Icarus lately. You too, guy! Aw, uh, yeah! I really like the voice acting in it. Oh, I just got the dark pit. Out. He's dreamy. For those of you who don't know, such as people in this room, Vita stands for V-Log Every Day in April. 3DS. What?! Yes! Yeah, let's screw this. However, we are not doing Vita because, quite simply put, one, there's too many people doing Vita now, and that would involve Mike basically camping out at my house and me slowly gaining dementia over the course of a month. I got your meat. All right. Go on, do your thing. Yeah, thank you. However, if you guys want us to actually try to do a vlog every day for a month, tell us. Email us, message us on the 404's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, which will all be in the underbar beneath where my chin is. What else is news? Events! Just because I liked how it looked in the last video. As I'm sure some of you know, uh, we are going to Ad Astra this Saturday, April 14th at 7095 Woodbine Ave Avenue in Markham. Uh, the nearest he exit is Highway 404 in Steeles. <laughs> Our next event is the Comedy Bar on April 20th at 945 Bloor Street, West Toronto, near Ossington Station, which I believe was mentioned in the last video in one of the things that would be right here, if you could see me pointing to it right now in the annotations. Um... It's be our second show, and we hope to come, you come out and check us out then. And keep in mind, even though this sign may say Greek Prov like it did last time, it is Geek Improv. Give me a world championships. Shut up. And I think that's it for events for us. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting? Uh, I'm going to be at the Toronto Public Library, possibly, I think. Oh, when's that? It is the week before race then. Are you actually going as a 404? Nope. So, it seems none of you decided to send us in any questions for this episode. Why? So, yeah, I know, really. Why? We would have answered them. We answered that damn Nintendo Kirby sucking question. Kirby. Sucking. <laughs> so, as a result, we talked, we deliberated, we reached into the emergency box of ideas, and we decided, well... We're going to teach you guys, you fans at home, how to do improv. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to doing improv with the 404s. We constantly get questions about how we provide the great, great comedy that makes us hilarious and fun. So today, we're going to teach you how to do improv. Rule number one, always accept, never deny. You're a boy. That is correct. From here, our two improvisers have found a way and introduced new information to the audience that they might not have known at first. Rule number two, amplify the stakes. I have an exam coming up. You have an exam coming up? By amplifying the stakes, the situation becomes much more heated and thus much more humorous. Now, rule number three, don't deny what your fellow improviser says. You're a boy. No. 
a corollary to this rule is when your fellow improviser gives you an offer, you don't counter with a different offer that negates what he said. You're a girl. But you just said I was a boy. Also, never, ever steamroll your fellow improviser. Hello, how are you today? I'm doing good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to go to the okay, bank? Okay, let's we'll go to the bank and... And then, but, but, yeah, but, but, yeah, but, what, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. What? Yeah, that's right. Next guideline. Always contribute. Never just give monosyllabic answers. Always add to the stakes and information that you're given. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're, we're going to go down to the swamp. I. By constantly adding information in a back and forth dialogue, the situation progresses much faster and becomes much more exciting and innovative. Next, avoid questions as it forces your improviser to only respond a certain way and not actually give him information to work with. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm Mike. Why are you here? Because I, I, I don't know why I'm here. Who, why not? Who are you? Does it matter who I am? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Also, don't plan, try to plan ahead in improv. It's a spontaneous process. By planning ahead, you may throw off your fellow improviser and make it una them unable to respond to where you're going. I think I'm going to go to school today. Diana! You're looking quite well. Uh, thank you. I'm glad I'm looking quite well. We should go to the town. Okay, let's go to the town instead. Fourth wit. Also, don't worry about being funny. If you elevate the stakes and you follow the rules of improv, funny will happen. Why did the chicken cross the road? Um, did, did he have to get over to the other side? To get run over brutally! <laughs> what? <laughs> chicken murder! <laughs> Let's practice how to laugh! <laughs> oh, Yuna. Comedy. And now some lessons on stage crap. First of all, always speak loudly. The audience needs to hear you. What? I... Can't hear you! If I were being audience to this, I wouldn't be able to know what's going on. High five. Also, make sure you always face the audience. Hi, Tara. And last but not least, don't block the view of your fellow improvisers. So, let's go to school today. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, do you want to check out this really cool weapon I just picked up? Oh my god, you're going to get suspended if you bring that to school. I know, but it's a good thing that nobody can see it. But, but today's exam day. If you get suspended on exam day, you won't be able to take your exam. Oh no, what should I do? We, we have to hide it! Okay. Um... Let's, let's, let's hide it in here! Yeah, okay. You'll never get caught now. Nobody saw a thing. But golly gee, that weapon looked amazing. Yeah. I'm glad everybody out there could see it. These have been the rules of improv with the 404s. We hope you found this information helpful and encouraging. And we look forward to seeing what you folks can do. Next time you come up and volunteer at one of our shows. Just don't try to surpass us. Or we'll end you. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? Call me okay. I can bet. Oh, he's downtime again. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Good, it's not recording the joke I just said. <laughs> Alright.